You know that song's a little bit too slow. I'm gonna pick a different one. And he says goodbye. Okay, that's that'll that's be a good the outro. End. How about? Um, all right, let's try this one. Muting the mics. I'm not the going steady kind to miss them all, all the time. I told Annie I'd be true, but I still think about Katie, too. Katie, too. Katie, too. I still think about Katie, too. And what about the Bone Zone, Johnny Cash? Because that's what you are in right now. Johnny Cash in the Bone Zone. Do you ever think that would ever happen, Randy? Johnny Cash, welcome to the Bone Zone. Hey, JC, it's O R N B. Hey, he's got something to say to you. He told me he wanted to say this to you. That's the. He thinks. Well, I'm not very good looking. You I know. put on a few pounds, and my I have Tom Petty hair. So nobody wants a fat guy with Tom Petty hair. <laughs> you look exactly like Tom Petty right now. I know. <laughs> oh. Um. Do I look like? Oh, wait, 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 wait. So should what? we start over so we could introduce... D- no one would know who Which? you were at that point. So we're going to start over because we haven't <laughs> introduced you yet. Wait. We'll just... Well, we'll take it from... Uh, we'll just take it from the Johnny Cash song. Okay, same song? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, let's, I'll, I'll do... Uh, I, this, I'll choose a different one. Okay. Hey, get a rhythm. When you get the blues, come on, get a rhythm. When you get the blues... Get a rock and roll feeling. Hey, everybody. Home. It's get the Bone Zone. And it's old when BW here the blues, with RL, which stands for Randy Lickin. What's up, Boneheads? Hey, what's up, Boneheads? You listening to episode, oh shit, what number is it? 79. 79, dude. So everybody get out there. 79, your wives, your elderly wives, your age appropriate wives. 79. If you're a chick listening, yeah. 79, your bro. Get on I mean, your boyfriend. <laughs> Get on one of those XXX sites and search 79 and have yourself a solo night. Go to the 79 category, grab the lube and just lube up, <laughs> turn lights and candles, 79, watch some 79 vids. And watch just, some couples, 79ing, hashtag yeah. 79. You don't need to have a partner to watch 79 videos. You do need a partner if you want to 79 someone. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went to uh, college with a guy who could 79 himself. Really? Yeah. Really? His name was Colin Escapy. Colin Escapy. And it's funny because it sounded like uh, colonoscopy. Oh, I thought it sounded like ice skating escapades. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, a little bit. He could fit a whole Coke Coke can in his mouth, too. Oh, really? Yep. I could oh, get it all the way around. I could do wow. the, the one side of it. I couldn't get the whole thing all the way in there. You've tried? Yeah, yeah that's how I used to... My parents taught me that's how you're supposed to drink cola. <laughs> You just put it, like, uh, dump it in, like, a quart of uh, oil mm-hmm. into a car. They would strap me to my back and then <laughs> dump a cola in my mouth. They would strap you... To my back. <laughs> to your own back? Yeah. I was, um, yeah. Strap me to my back. So, um, this is episode 79. Also, season two, episode... What number, do you think? Uh, Probably 10. Oh, yeah, because episode 69 was the end of first season. Mm-hmm. So then if this is 79, it'd be 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, episode 10. Episode 10. Yep. And um, we have uh, today is a very special episode of The Bone Zone. You know why, Randy? Uh, I have a guess, but why don't you tell me why? <laughs> well, no, I want you to guess. Cause is it because we have a guest? Well, we have a guest. Uh-huh. Um, is that your only guest, though? Is that my only guest? <laughs> is that your only guest? Guest? That's okay, guys. Guest or guest? Is your only guess that we have a guest? Yes. Um, yep, we do have a guest, and for the first time... <laughs> no! We have a fan. Oh, the fan is... One our... of our fans is on the podcast. <laughs> oh, one of our biggest fans is here. It's a wind tunnel. So we got our number one fan here on the Bone Zone. <laughs> it's so nice to finally meet one of my fans. Yeah. It, this fan's name is... Uh, listen to him. Wind Machine. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, this is the first time that we're having a fan on the podcast. 
<laughs> Who's our other guest? Um, our other guest is... Uh, we don't want to freak you guys out because this is generally kind of a dude time. Yeah. You know, we get into some real dude issues like ball, um, you know, stuff about our balls. Scrotal sacks. Scrotal sacks. That's, that's the sack that holds but the balls in. We talk about a, like a lot of, you know, medical terminology. Uh-huh. We don't use, we don't throw a lot of slang around when we're talking about serious male topics. Yeah. Um, like testicles. Mm-hmm. Um, then there's the uh, uh, Mons deference. Um, yeah, and then there's also the epididymis gland, which is, I think, what creates pre cum, <laughs> which that that uh, basically prepares the the chamber for and regular cum, because because uh, your chamber or your your urethra, chamber. your yeah, your cum, your cum. But loader. what's the uh, there's uh, tubes in your in your testicles too. Uh, this something. Well, we have a guest that you may know from, um, we have, well, first we have, it's the first time we have a fan on the podcast. So yeah, all, all you fans out there, finally, one of you guys made it. And, um, this other guest you may know from, do you have, uh, a clip? We didn't get any credits. <laughs> I mean, I know some of, I know some of them, but yeah. yeah. Do you want to introduce the guest? Okay. This guest is. Very good friend. I'm a big fan of this big guest. Fan. I mean, I know the big I fan. I just don't know all of the credits. Well, she's very she's. I very know there's funny like comedian. Family Guy, right? Was it Family Guy? Is that a credit? She's done voice on Adventure Time too. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Adventure Time. Yeah. Family Guy. She was on a, a really big, uh, popular primetime television show, um, where you may have seen her. Uh, wait. I think what was that? Um, starring Nick Cannon. <laughs> Nick Cannon was in it. Really. Yeah. Is this a real thing? Yeah. She's really good friends with Nick Cannon to this day. Mm-hmm. I would never. Shh, we haven't introduced you yet. <laughs> okay. yeah. You would never be... F- I'll ask you in a second. Yo, that'll Anyways, be the first question. She, she's, she's a very funny comedian. She's all around good gal. Always a pleasure to bump into her on the circuit. Yeah. When I'm out on the circuit, constantly good time to bump. When I'm out on the... Into her. Sometimes I'm on the long circuit, I bump into her. Sometimes on the short circuit. On the short circuit. Remember when me and you were in San Diego and she happened to also be there? Yep. We had a heck of a time eating pancakes. We ate some pancakes. No, we no, touched wait, each no, other's no, food. No, um, no, that was your okay, fault. Okay, we, right. we have to introduce you. I muted her mic, so okay. we'll introduce you. And then... All right, you guys, are you ready to introduce her? Yeah. All right. Please welcome to the Bone Zone, our new guest... Melissa Via Senior. Welcome to the Bone Zone. Hey, thanks, guys. Welcome. It's so good to hear your voice, <laughs> see your face. I got to say, very big fan. Huge fan. Huge fan. I love you. I love you, too. Love you. I love you probably 10 times more than Randy. Not possible. No, oh, thanks, Randy. Big fan of your work, even bigger fan of you personally. Uh, I'm a huge fan of your work, and... I would give my own life to save yours. <laughs> if it came down to it, hopefully we're never in that situation. I would. That's very nice. Thank you. I would not only give my own life if it was necessary. I would give it if it was unnecessary. Hmm. I would. For you. Okay. If you asked me to, but I would like to share my life with you. Wow. wow. If you wanted to just, you That's know. very nice. Take the leap and. I would love to. Don't take this the wrong way and don't don't let it scare you off. But I would love to split town with you. I would love to run away with you. Uh, but what would we be running from? Nowhere. We'd be running to somewhere and that would be our new life together. Okay. Brandon. I would like to. Um, I would like to do the same thing. I mean, obviously leave town. That goes without saying. That's just Randy uh, stating the obvious. <laughs> but we would do it in a... Um, we do it uh, f- uh, first class all the way. 
Oh, really? Well, mine wow. isn't about sex, yeah. Brendan, and you're talking about I'm doing it. I'm not talking it. about sex. I'm you talking said, about... do it, do it, do it. He said it three he's times. About the airplane. She's a lady, and you don't talk to a lady that we way. We would go first class all the way, and we would make love at her discretion. <laughs> I would not do any pressuring okay. for lovemaking. Yeah, neither would I. He's uh, saying that like I would, I get, would but neither would I. I would get tested. For um, I would take a sex test to make sure I know all the positions. I've already taken that test, and I can show you my badges. I know all the positions and STD free. Um, wow, that's good. Oh, but you see, I got I took the STD test, and mm-hmm. I got um, an extra STDs for um, or I mean, no I extra no STDs. No STDs. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, but um, I had a few. The test that I took was free, and that's what I meant by STD free. <laughs> I took the check; it was at the free clinic. But but I, knew, I got them fixed, and now we're good to go. They're not lifetime ones; they're just rashes. I scored higher uh, than anyone where I took the sex test. They had never seen a higher score ever before. So. Written or the physical test? Both, Both? written and oral. Really? Because mm-hmm. I heard that the oral test. Did you get your permit? The oral sex test. No one's ever gotten a hundred percent on the oral test. They said I was the highest one okay. at the facility where I took my test. You must have tied with me. Um, where did you go? The Valley? Glendale. <laughs> that's, uh, I went to the Valley, went and the that valley. one has higher standards. No, I heard that's easier in the Valley because there's not as mm. much. Um, no, because it's different laws different. there. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, so. well, either way, Melissa, what I'm trying to say is. Do you have to choose? No, you don't have to choose right no, now. We don't want to make it uncomfortable. No, we're not. And actually, we're just letting you know how much we like you, and okay. you don't have to. Ugh, I apologize. <laughs> Randy has a girlfriend, by the way, so that could complicate things. Me, I'm free. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. I need to know what's up until I. I'll. I'll pull the trigger. Randy, not killer, just, not killer. I just meant. Well, on you the, said she only has two months left, right? Um, she does. Um, for the listener, we're talking about my elderly girlfriend who has fallen ill. She gave birth to twins <laughs> and uh, the twins didn't make it. Um, and the doctor said, you're not allowed to have sex for three months, but she, they gave she, my, my wife only two, two months, months to live, which is why Randy is trying to, I don't, I think Randy's motivations are different than mine because he, no, mine is love. He's just, he's worried. He's just going to, he's going to be left alone. He doesn't want a gap in between. Oh, he I wants to roll oh, right over. Gap, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you see, I would never make any crash jokes like that either. Wow, it thanks, would just Brandon. be. Yeah, that was really. I, it no, 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 no. I meant it would be Randy. love making in any position no, of your choice, I which shop, I am. I I'm shop, highly skilled in all positions. At the Gap, I want to buy you clothing. I know where That's, I can that get. That is my favorite store. So. Thank you. I know where I can get my hands on a very slightly used sixty nine wheelchair. <laughs> Yeah, but you're not going to need that for a long time. But I'll sell it to you. I but mean, you those could are use it. Get, those are tough to get rid of. You don't. I don't think there's a law that says somebody has to be uh, crippled to use a 69. Yeah, wheelchair. but there's not a law against taking a shit in the <laughs> handicap uh, stall. But you're not supposed to. I do it all the time. Well, there you go. Rule Who doesn't breaker? shit? In yeah, because there's rule so much breaker. more space. Yeah, the 69. You could do this or the, or the 69 stall. Mm-hmm. Uh, the handicap stall is the most shat in stall in all public bathrooms. Yeah, probably. And here's a here's a what I notice. Okay. All the stalls that aren't handicapped, those idiots pee all over the rim, and the handicapped person doesn't. Oh, so, really? You know That's what? for girls. For guys, it's <laughs> shit. Oh, right. Yeah. It's poop everywhere. <laughs> oh, my God. In men's bathrooms, <laughs> Randy can back me up on this. I'll men's public ba- uh, restrooms, there's shit everywhere. Like, think of... Do you, do you paint with it? No, I don't I do don't it. I don't, we don't do anything. No. Me and Randy. Are you kidding me? Well, me as far as Brendan? I know, I know no I don't do anything. Not Brendan and I. Not a chance. But I don't know what Randy's up to by himself. I can't vouch for him 100%. Oh, I but last, I would say I no. don't think Randy yeah. put shit anywhere. No. Here's the deal. The there, last. I bet you can moonwalk on it pretty good. The best. The last men's mm, restroom no? that I went in. You don't want to do that. You know. Um, <laughs> actually, there's a song about. Remember, we saw there was uh, somebody shit in the urinal. And there's a song on an album about it. Um, oh, wait. Can I? What? 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Shoot. Go ahead. Did you have a question? We're, we'd love to answer your questions Wait, and, and settle I this. I actually forgot what I was going to say. There was something we were talking about earlier. Oh. 
The handicap stall, 69 no. in wheelchair, no. <laughs> which if you're no. going to go real, first. I wanted to make friend. it clear that Brennan. Poop all over the. No, he smashed his hand in the pancakes I ordered in yeah. San Diego. He touched your pancakes for sure. So yeah. <laughs> if that's something you don't like, babe, I will never do that. Thanks, Randy. You're welcome. I seem to remember you laughing and liking it a lot when I touched it your pancakes. It was funny, but then after it did hurt the feelings. Really? Did you take that as a bullying yeah, gesture? Yeah, it, it was a bully. But it was a joke bully gesture. <laughs> Poop in the urinal. This happens Poop all the time. in the urinal. <laughs> Poop in the urinal. Isn't that what the toilet's for? Poop in the urinal. It is. Poop yeah. that's for. in the urinal. Everything has... Poop. Everything has poop over it. The last toilet that I saw in a bathroom, picture a toilet, but instead of a toilet, it looks like a German chocolate cake, completely frosted, but with shit. So it's like it looks like a toilet, but it, it has smear marks all over it and things that look like coconut. And birthday candles. Yes, and birthday candles, which are tampons that a guy Ew. snuck in. <laughs> He snuck them in from the ladies. They room. pat you down before you're not allowed to have tampons. But I would say, um, this is just I've never been in a women's restroom. But uh, is there a period everywhere in there? Sometimes. So it looks like red velvet cake everywhere. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But listen, I don't even know about men's bathrooms that much because I I barely poop. I don't poop hardly that oh, much. That's, that's pretty cute. So, and I, I, I know that girls don't like that because, I, and that's one of the reasons why. What do you think? Uh, not that much is. Um, well, what's average? Average is twice a day poop or once a day. Yeah, one to two times a day. Okay, less than that. Really? Not, yeah. not the same. Yeah, Definitely Randy, not do you more. Have, do you get little nuggets and stuff. Little nuggets and stuff. Yeah, I'll take you to McDonald's. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying. Do you poop the little nuggets? I don't. Either well, way, I, I know for a fact Randy poops more than once or twice a day. That's not possible. I poop less than Actually, average. What is it? You poop, you he, said that when you guys shared a hotel room one time. Woo! Yeah, Randy poops like happened. eleven times a day. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, that's I remember not Brendan true. Telling me that. Play. There's a song. Actually, I heard it on the radio that can probably back me up. That's on not this. true. Are you sure it's not true? I'm positive. I would never. I poop once or less. You can't Randy what, like half a time of it. Eleven times a day. Randy lit you poops. Eleven times a day. <laughs> well Randy lit you poops. Eleven times a day. The proof is in the pudding. Or should I say the poop is in the or the proof is in the pudding. Eleven times, eleven times, eleven times, eleven times a day. I I don't that must be a different Randy Lidkey. The spelling looks I looking at it, it looks the same. Different Randy Lidkey. I poop. Less than one. Well, that's even grosser if you poop less than one time a day because that means that you do half a poop or you're walking around with half a shit hanging out of your ass for the rest of the day. <laughs> and you're I got stuff. chocolate smears all over the couch. I got stuff Ew. to do. I got stuff to do. You're going to get chocolate smears on the 69 in couch. No, what I mean by that is and on wheelchair. average less than one time a day. So every other day. Take off your shoes, girl. Yeah, make yourself comfortable. Like, seriously, you're the queen. Like, you can do whatever <laughs> you want. Like, you can honestly be my queen. Seriously. Seriously. I'm going to Google you and see what suggestions come up. I would buy you up. so many gifts if you were mine. <laughs> I don't know if I want that. Please be mine. No. Oh, please. No. Please. No. Please. My girlfriend's going to die soon. <laughs> Yeah. I All know. right. So here are the. Um, well, this is good. Nothing weird or gross comes up. A lot of girls <laughs> that are in the. Uh, well, when you Google a lot of uh, females who are in the public eye's name, within the first five <laughs> Google suggestions is feet. Oh, okay. There's a big foot fetish community out there. But you, when you Google your name, <laughs> the suggestions is Melissa Villa Senor. Melissa v- Villa Senor. Via Senor. Via Senor. Via? I, yeah, that's good. Okay. I Because cor- I correct him because I know because I'm like, I know, well, I, I know Brendan. I'm not an ass kisser. I, I am who I am. I made a mistake. I'm the first. I am who that. I am and I know your last name. And I know I, and I know that if we get married, it, it's okay if it's you want to keep it. It's a cultural difference. Oh, Brendan doesn't even know how to pronounce your last name because he's like I do Melissa know. Walsh. 
That's all he oh. thinks about Melissa. You, how's that? That's got a nice ring Melissa to it. Actually, Walsh. I like that. What about yeah. Melissa Lidke? But, but no, no, no. Exactly, that's, because that you'd be like free to keep name. your last name or hyphenate Melissa via Senor Lidke. Yeah, that's, Lidke. well, God, pack a lunch when you're saying that name. Or what, whatever. Melissa, Melissa Walsh, you're in and out. Yeah, the lunch would you say okay i will because i care and i will pack your lunch and yeah. i will cook things well, and i gotta, will do wow. stuff like that you gotta cool. fuel I that i will make dessert i will make shakes <laughs> i'll make breakfast shakes for you you gotta keep fuel in that never-ending poop factory on the other end there. i do not poop 11 times a day it's well, got a good ring to it and that's probably why that song exists well or it's based on fact like that song davy crockett oh yeah that all songs are based on fact. Well, I'm saying, why would somebody write a song about you pooping 11 times a day? Because if that's not true, why don't, why, why don't you sue the guy? Name another song that's true. Um, the Green Berets. About the, that song about the Green Berets. All right, I'll name another song that's fake. Okay. Walking on Broken Glass. No, that's a real... That, the woman who sang that song walked on she broke a glass and she stepped on it that's okay why she wrote the song crocodile rock that also that was inspired by a flintstones episode <laughs> where a crocodile that's awesome, John, right? yeah yep so you google <laughs> melissa via senor walsh <laughs> and it comes up melissa via senor wiki melissa via senor bio melissa via senor america's got talent yeah that's where she met nick cannon and they have a, a strong relationship <laughs> till this day and Melissa actually, Melissa sang at Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon's <laughs> wedding. Did you really? She did no. an impression of Mariah Carey. No, Can you do an no. impression of Mariah Carey? I did not. We should showcase some of your talents. Can you do an impression of Mariah Carey? That's got to be a really high pitched one. That's I kind don't of think a hard I could. one. Yeah. No. But you did do. Uh, you did sing as yourself at their wedding. No, I didn't. Oh, well, were you at the wedding? No, I was. I don't know. Not invited. So Randy lies. Randy's a well, li- you know lied what? key. No, yeah. can't spell lied key without lie. That's a that's fact. A that's fact. not even embellishment F-A-K-I-T. for comedic. Well, if I'm going to change it for Hollywood reasons, you wouldn't be able. You could spell it without it because I'm thinking about changing it to. Oh well, you guys will like this. My last name means house of the man. House of the man. See. Well, I'm well, I'm more of a man than Randy. I'm like ten years older than. Yeah, him. but I'm technically more of a man than Brendan because I weigh about sixty pounds more than he does, or mm-hmm. more. That's like a lumberjack. Uh, I have yeah. more pubes, and Randy burned half his pubes <laughs> off by m- trying to <laughs> look at his tiny dick with a magnifying glass. I know. And again, I would love to let the listeners know: do not try to look at your tiny dick with a magnifying glass if the sun is up, because you can catch your pubes on fire. Please be careful out there. Wait till it's night and use very low wattage <laughs> lights. Please be careful. Thank you. That is it. So if you want a guy with a thick, manly mane of pubes. Yeah, but guess what? They'll grow back and thicker because that's the, the wives tale. Well, because I donated some pubes to him. Oh, you donated to uh, I did. Uh, I went into the hospital. Lo- yeah. Box of love. I I kind of, but I had to have an operation. I had yeah. to remove him from the root. As a, pib- a pube graph. Yeah. Um, which is uh, Steffi Graf's sister, uh, Pube. Yeah, they're Swedish, so yeah. they have weird names like that. But um, they thought about just combing my butt hair up towards the front. <laughs> 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 but I thought that would be uncomfortable. I'd have to get special underwear. So Brendan donated some of his. That's yeah. nice of you. <laughs> You have to get different special underwear than the already I know. prescription my, underwear. I have you prescription wear. underwear already because my penis is so uh, easily irritated. Uh, and also, if you're just going to do like a comb over with your butt hair, there's going to be comb under and up. Yeah. Comb under and up. Yeah. You'd, there'd be dingleberry issues. Yeah. yeah. If you looked at me from behind, it would look like I had uh, butt sideburns. I think I don't know. I never tried it because I didn't wouldn't even consider it Melissa because I'm not a freak. I'm as normal as they are. And unless you're into a weird guy, I'll be a weird guy. What are you into? Yeah, what are you looking for? What just name a thing and and we'll see if we got it. Just for I just I'm looking for fun. Oh, we're fun. Oh, definitely. We proved that. And I'm looking for I've been around the block a lot more than Randy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Well, I'm no, I'm fine. I'm that's a little bit here. more green, so I like to I either don't like walk. That. I don't, like, I don't like to drive around the block as much well, as I Brendan. Like, what you like to drive, Brendan? No, I'm just I've I've been around the block. I know I know the <laughs> score a little bit more than Brendan's been. Randy. Okay, so Brendan's been around the block. If you want a wide-eyed, score. bushy-tailed guy with a lot of trial and error throughout life, 
go go with the go with the kid over here. If you want a guy who's already <laughs> blazed his own trail and already he's already done all the legwork, made all the mistakes. We should be focusing. Listen, I, you're doing a lot of focusing on me. I like I'm being just dis- you're distracting me while I'm trying to focus on Melissa. It would be nice to mo- for Melissa if you would also focus on her. Thank well, you. Well, I'm going to be giving her thank, a ride home because you, you made her a bunch of alcohol drinks, and now she's going to her only option is to drink and drive home, or get a lift by the sober guy who's been around the block. Oh, knows you know where to make all the right. Brandon's right. I mean, turn. he's got that. He's just drinking water this whole time. Yeah, but guess what? I just got a pillow top on my mattress and and i put new sheets on there and i'll get there's a key but your old ass girlfriend's sleeping in there right now <laughs> no no she she can't sleep in that bed are you kidding me we have Where a special she? hospital type bed that, that has the whole fucking apparatus that we and hang you, everything in your house bags. is is not n- the normal I yeah mean, you got a 69 couch you have the 69 it's wheelchair. no the 69 couch oh. was at my old place oh, that was your old place just right. to kiss Sorry. my elderly girlfriend i have to uh, they call it um scrub down where you have to wash your hands five times you put on big giant rubber gloves and <laughs> sterile booties over your shoes and then i have to walk through a chamber that is you know what i mean like she's in a chamber she is passed on the other side of the chamber, so you have to walk through this. But chamber. it's got like long arm gloves that you can reach in and touch her with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I can actually go in there. There's just there's just a series is it of like um, underground and stuff. Do you have to no, bring a torch? With no, you? picture like a surgeon going into a very important surgery. Man, she's a lot of work. I mean, do you, is she really? That's she's that worth it, she, right? I tell her that all the time. I'm like, you are a piece of a lot of work. <laughs> But guess what? Mother of I, the children. I love her. Sure, He's had two kids with her. And she has great stories about prohibition okay. and all sorts of things. She can talk and talk. Well, not anymore. But she can. <laughs> I can tell that she has yeah. things that she what used she to say. Like? What does she smell like? She smells like a sterile room. Wow. Oh. Uh, well, I guess between and all, lavender. Your, all your appearances on late night talk shows. Oh, Brendan's probably. showing. Oh, Brendan's has a t- Brendan's t- showing, t- Loco shirt. <laughs> He's he showing his talking. Conan shirt. Oh. Brendan, Sorry, you unbuttoned shirt, your shirt uh, and showed off. open from the fan. Oh, okay. The fan's behind you, buddy. Yeah, it's blown. I was just, just on TV my last out week. Of the buttonhole. I was on TV last week, Melissa. Wait, Brendan, you were on Team Coco? I was on the Conan O'Brien show. He performed on the yeah, Conan O'Brien on show. It. I can't deny that, but I was on TV last week. What were you doing? Brendan, were you on TV last week? Uh, yeah, Randy uh, sat on a TV and <laughs> ate a whole pie. <laughs> No, I mean because he's uh, that's he's also because this his house is infested with mice, so he's so scared he jumped up. He screamed like a girl. No, one. I have a flat screen TV that you can't admit sit that on. you scream like a girl when you see a mouse. Though. I admit that, and I also admit I did eat a whole. Oh, is that a, a mouse right there? No, I'm not gonna fall for it. <laughs> All right, but there really is a mouse. Right I don't there. believe you, Brendan. There's one. It's good. Where is it? Right next to your foot. Right next to your foot. <laughs> That wasn't a mouse. That was one of my sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> At one time in eighth grade, I farted and I made. I told the class it was just my Doc Martin rubber shoes. Brendan, you can have her. <laughs> uh, she we farted. Could flip for her. I know. I heard that story too. Do you? Are you interested in anyone? Randy was on Marin last week. Randy no, was Brendan on was Marin. on. Brendan was on. That was Conan. like two years ago. But I was I'm on three Google, years ago I'm almost. It was almost too. three years ago. I was, I was on Marin, Congrats. but it, but that's Randy was just on Marin that's last on week. That's I, I had no clue, Brendan. Brendan bought you. Conan's on TBS. Brendan. It's not even a good channel. Yeah, but IFC, I don't even have IFC's, that channel. That's got so many, cha- hey, that's like so many good shows. I had to look it up on the, lying. I had to look you it up on, on the Conan. internet. Yeah, yeah. But Randy over Brendan here. Brendan was on Conan. Randy's on Marin. Brendan show. Brendan bought you a cupcake. Brendan bought you a cupcake. No, 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 no. That's okay. No, 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 no. Brendan. Go ahead. Give her the cupcake. Uh, oh well. my god you got me a cupcake Brendan got her a oh, cupcake gonna... Ew, it's, all, it. <laughs> it's all greasy yeah yeah no, no what's gross. inside is there buy... a mouse or something? no no, no Brendan got you a cupcake oh my god you did give me Randy a cupcake. bought you flowers I did not buy you flowers Randy bought you flowers I did not buy you flowers no Randy Brendan bought you flowers I didn't buy you flowers really give her the flowers I'm not gonna I give her the flowers you bought give give her the flowers I'm gonna go ahead and start eating it yeah go ahead how old is this yeah why don't you fart on those flowers that with your new boyfriend Randy you got me flowers yeah okay yeah I bought you flowers yeah oh my god I bought so, you flowers. I mean, I think the choice. And you guys are closer in age, too. Yeah, I know, but sense. Brendan, you're more attractive than me. Hey. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know you're. Yeah. How Randy's about this? Cute. How about 
I both I have you both. No. no. Yeah, that'd no. be really no. sweet. I huh? think no, I just do I don't want to know. We shouldn't. You Where can have you Randy guys? all to is yourself. For, you this? farted? You farted you in farted. the eighth grade. Okay, tell me if you were you joking. Said tell 10, me if you were joking. Ten thousand times a grosser things on that. Did you really fart? I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Brendan is the choice. No, you I won. Choose Brendon. You know what? I really see Brendan farting around all day. You're like twenty five or something. You, yeah, I am. He'd be yeah, fine with see, that. Yeah, see, Randy's no, see, 29. Yeah. That's perfect age. I'm like, Brendan's I'm way too. older. You no, and Brendan. But Brendan, it, it's going to work out. This no, will be nice. No, no. You and Brendan? Yeah, because yeah. I no, just I don't see think, like... I think... Uh, yeah, it, it looked pretty cool. Mm, you know? No, yeah. I actually... Uh, I only have a couple months to live. Oh, okay. Actually, then I caught the... Same, you only I have caught, a couple months to live? Yeah, yeah. I shook hands with your wife and I caught the disease <laughs> that she has. <laughs> old age? To whatever it is it's the doctor said two months tops <laughs> too much too so this is probably gonna be the last podcast I'm well on. remember when i t- melissa told you that i would kill myself for you i also made that promise to my elderly wife and brendan so i so i'm third in line i also have two months to live because i'm gonna take my own uh, life <laughs> but we could <laughs> probably like, hook you up are with you someone. gonna be romeo and juliet um who do, you, who do you think i'd be perfect for guys um probably someone who likes uh farting farting yeah, <laughs> yeah. A guy well, with no sense of hearing or smell. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think? Come on, guys. You, you seem like you guys would fart a bit. Oh no way! Not I me. Don't. Nope. Oh, jeez. Never farted. Man, you're. I've never holds. heard Randy fart. I never Although he does poop eleven times a day, you never hear any noise coming out of there. <laughs> I've never. I didn't even. Do you guys know. ever crack up when you hear someone else in a stall fart in a way? No. No, I get gross noise out. <laughs> So what are, um, do you want to do, uh, I don't want to do any, you don't want to do an impression. You guys, what's your favorite impression to do? Hey, wait, there's a song about Melissa. No. You know, I think this pretty girl just fought it. No way, no way. Seriously, it was her. Are you sure? Well, there's a ter- well, how are you doing that? There? There's a guy in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> There is. That's why we're taking so long to get started because he had to set up his equipment and Randy oh, was messing with. That's okay. why Randy was typing on a computer because yeah. he communicates with Do you. Them. Did you try Brendan's cupcake that is he got you? Is it really for me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or has that been sitting there for weeks, guys? No, no. no for, we wouldn't try to feed you old food. I'll show you the receipt. Brendan gave it to me for tax are purposes. See, this, are you really? Probably this is a uh, fork. No, it's a real cupcake. Real cupcake. Nothing, no no Bought hopes. today. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. There's, a, there's, you guys are. <laughs> there's something wrong here. Cause no. Why would you? You guys are staring at me like you're Look, waiting for me. Look, there's flowers to, there. Got your flowers. To, like the, I'm gonna. The, no, you can take it home and eat it later. Nothing yeah. wrong with it. We just, if you like cupcakes, you should go ahead and eat it. But if you See, don't, you know, find someone else who likes it. Someone who doesn't fart. Yeah, I can't believe I wasted this, all that money no on that cupcake. There's no sugar taste in the cream. Probably just whipped cream or something. I don't know. There's chocolate cake under there. You guys want some? Nah. I'll, t- I'll have a piece. You have a piece, Brendan? It's actually I delicious. I guess. Is, did you fart on that hand that you're going <laughs> to hand it to me with? <laughs> Is that your fart hand? Yeah, maybe I'll grab it on my own. I'll just grab a piece. Do you guys wipe your butt after you fart? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my God. This is great. Is it good? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Hey, remember the gl- gl- gluten allergies. Oh, oh shit. I guarantee that has gluten. Well, maybe I can get on a later flight. No. I can't fly if my head swells up from gluten. Yeah, you're on the no gluten, no, no fly Does list. Does my head look fat already? Yeah. This cupcake from is before? good. No, you look good. You look fine. Is my head good? doesn't look fat your at always, all. Your head always looks fat in comparison to how it always looks. Guys, when'd you, who got this cupcake, really? Brendan got you that cupcake. Yeah, I mean, I thought... Oh, you got here after me. I was right? different. I, uh, a cupcake in here. I, I was here earlier to make sure everything is nice. And, you, don't worry about it. I mean, this is. I thought you were a different person then. No, no. I, no, I really, really appreciate the cupcake. Mm, it's good. Well, Brent. Try not to fart it out <laughs> before you leave. I can't promise that. <sighs> but. You guys, okay, even if you, I don't end up with either one of you, uh-huh. can we still be like, can we still be best friends and stuff? I don't Maybe know. Do you consider trip? us best friends? Well, I, I, yeah, I think I'd be like to go fishing or hunting with you guys. Hunting? <laughs> yeah, that'd be well, fun. Like kill an animal? <laughs> yeah. Have you done that before? No, but I've gone paintballing. Well, that's a lot different than taking a life. 
That sounds very funny. Well, old Ram Man's playing Angry Birds now. Hey, I got He's completely on lost your interest in the podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry. You got frosting on the microphone? Oh, yeah. we have it's all on your arm. I'll just get a vacuum cleaner. Should I get the vacuum? <laughs> you know what? I'll just hop in the bath. That's fine. <laughs> Whose bath? My bath? Yeah, that's a bathroom here. Uh, oh. My bath's for, man, for boys only. Hey. Yeah, it's all filled. It's oh, filled with beard hairs, pubes, and jizz. <laughs> Ooh, that's Ew. a good song. We should tell Matt to write mm. that song. Beard, hair, hair. What is it? Wait. Beard, hairs, pubes, and jizz. <laughs> Maybe we get him on the phone. Uh, yeah, I'll give him a call. Yeah, we can give him a call. I, I talked to him earlier. He was on a long walk. Oh man. Oh okay. That was really good. I'll get you a, a paper towel. I'm gonna get myself another um, another uh, sparkling Maybe. water. Are these really for me? The flowers and the cupcake. Yeah. Yeah. Man, um, you guys are the best podcasters ever. Is this the best podcast you've ever been on? Grab her a napkin. She looks. She, oh, yeah, she got it all her over napkin. herself. Um, Brendan's going to get another sparkling water. We're going to call Matt. Should we call Matt, Brendan? Yeah, I think we should. Okay. Who's, who's Matt? Matt's the guy who wrote all those songs that you've heard so far. Oh, man. I was going to try to get him to write a song about you. Are you sure this isn't old? <laughs> well, you already ate it. <laughs> No, it was, it was bought today for you, Melissa. Are you sure? Because it, it tasted a little stale, the cupcake bread. You can think that if you want, but it was bought today for you. Really? Mm. You know, it's crazy how you could have like an idea yeah, about someone. hurting my stomach. Like you could, uh, <laughs> you could almost. Uh, you guys know something. There's nothing. Stop being paranoid. We bought you a cupcake. I just don't believe it because you guys are jokesters. You well, ate it funny. so hard that it's all over the microphone and your arm. And your arm. That's what I was going to say. Is well, like I'm saying cup. This was good. It's funny how life works where you're almost ready to forfeit a friendship with your best friend over a girl. Over a girl. And then. And then you find out. And then you find out that she. Uh, <laughs> Can't control her farts <laughs> uh-huh. and then eats like a uh, animal and gets yeah. food all over her face, arms, microphones, everywhere. Mm-hmm. She got cupcake all over the flowers that I got her. Uh, I gotta. I I think I owe you an apology. I owe Brandon. you an apology. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm sorry, Brendan. Let's never let this happen again. We'll never let some dumb bitch come between us. Ever <laughs> never again. let some dumb fucking giggly dumb bitch. We'll never let some farty farty ass farty fucking cupcake I will never arm let bitch Randy fucking fart Brendan bitch. ever leave this room again. We won't let some stupid, stupid smelly, smelly bitch fart farter butt farting. Chick eating a fucking cake, cupcake fucking arm, frosting face, frosting face, butt farter, uh, chick, uh, burrito breath, burrito. Yeah, that's right. I brought you guys burritos, okay? And thank Viewers, you. I listen, learners. I brought them stuff. Brought them burritos. I gave them a hug. Yeah. He didn't even accept that that courteous, kind heart of mine. Yeah, I huh. think you were just trying to get us to squeeze a fart out of you. You probably yeah. had a. <laughs> A constipated <laughs> fart on fart your way stuck. over, fart and you stuck. schemed. You were scheming the whole way. Like, oh, Brendan and Randy are both big, strong guys. I'll just mm-hmm. give them a hug, and they'll probably mm-hmm. squeeze these farts right out of me. <laughs> yep. spit yeah. Spit on the microphone. And then she just spit all over the table. She tried to do that thing where you, where you fall onto the back of a chair to push the fart out of you. Yeah. You know that thing. It's also sometimes when people are choking on large pieces of meat they'll do that it's like a self heimlich the self heimlich but instead of food coming out of your mouth you had a fart come out of your bottom that's called the via senor mover maneuver yeah you guys what if you ever became a via senor would you like that i would take your name so get gay married if you didn't fart so much (laughs) all that farting would get in the way of gay sex why are we calling matt (laughs) hello hey matt Hey. Hey, it's Brendan and Randy. And How's Melissa, on their guest. And our guest is Melissa. Um, how, how's, how are you doing on your walk? I'm home now. He walks 20 miles every Tuesday. You walk 20 25. miles today? 25 today. Whoa. How long does that take? Like eight hours? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, with a stop for food, yeah. Man, I'd like to do that. That's a really long walk. I bet you, I mean, I know that you where you live, the states are really small. Did you end up in a different state? No, no. But once, um, once I got dropped off in um, Bristol, Rhode Island, and did a three-day walk to Manchester, New Hampshire. So, would you get hotel rooms? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Went uh, by myself. That's <laughs> fun. And, uh, That's cool. I would like to do that. This is Melissa Villasenor. She doesn't talk into the microphone because she's too busy farting. <laughs> no, no, it's not true. There's, this is Melissa Can Villasenor. Can I tell you one more quick story? Yeah. Oh, once I rode my bicycle from Massachusetts to Florida. Really? Yeah, that was cool. How, uh, how long did that take? Let me guess. Three weeks. Three days. Three weeks. <laughs> Three weeks. What do, do you have a bike that's uh, designed for that type of activity, or do you have like a beach cruiser? No, you can't have a beach cruiser, Randy. It's a mountain bike. Yeah, just a regular road bike. How many tires you go through on that trip? Two flats, both on the same day. That's it, and you don't have to buy new tires at all? No. I mean, like if, if the flats didn't happen. I just wiped my Correct. I just, yeah, I just had uh, spare tubes. Wow. We played a few of your songs on this episode. Um, from the new, the new Poop album? We played a few from the new Poop o- album, yeah. I got to say, nice. you know, I, got, I just got your package um, a couple days ago. Sorry I haven't contacted yeah. you sooner to thank you for it. Uh, I was listening to it in the car on my way over here to do the podcast, and uh, I love it. I was listening to it when I was running errands earlier, too, and it's, uh, the weather's really nice here. So I had my uh, sunroof open and my windows down, and I was blaring it, and uh, and I actually I turned it down a little bit because a guy was looking at me in the car next to me, and I didn't want to have to explain what was going on. I understand. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I shouldn't have told you that part. No, no, he gets it. He writes songs about poop and stuff sometimes, and um, that's not... And I, I, I probably couldn't Wait, play Wait, I want to talk to this person on the phone here. Yeah, you should. Um, Melissa Villasenor, a very funny comedian. Uh, <laughs> you meet, may know her from no, no, America's okay. Got Talent. It's meet uh, Matt Farley, who Matt? Uh, writes a lot of... Uh, These are your songs? I'm sorry? Yeah, the, the poop songs. That's me. Yeah, Yeah, and we also played and Happy birthday. birthday, Melissa. And the song, The Pretty right. Girl Farted. Yeah. You play her, Melissa. Will you go to the prom with me? Yeah. Oh no, oh. there's probably some good Melissa songs. Who is? How did you guys? I don't understand. You guys are well. You guys Matt's are, your biggest fan. He's been some, following your no, career from you are, Family Guy to America's Got <laughs> yeah, Talent. Sure. All right, I'm gonna play this one. You ready? Okay. Melissa is a smoking hot babe. Melissa <laughs> is a smoking hot babe. How about that, Melissa? She's a smoking hot babe, all right. Yes, she is. Pretty good, right? That's you, great. Yeah. <laughs> so, is it every Tuesday you walk that far? Uh, that's a just a new thing I started um, like th- four weeks ago. Just uh, you know, I'm a big walker. Yeah. Did you do the same walk all four Tuesdays? No, no, it's different ones. I have a GPS that keeps track of my uh, mileage, and I'll just kind of there's you know lots of different options around here. And, uh, you don't eat cupcakes, huh? I don't eat cupcakes, is that what you said? Because you stay fit. Do you stay fit? Well, but he's walking 25 miles. You can eat whatever you yeah, want. No, I, 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 okay. Yeah, I do it so that I can eat cupcakes. Yeah. I wa- and time. he also, yeah. I was just reading an old, uh, um, one of your newsletters, and uh, yeah. Matt ate a whole quart of ice cream. Hello? By himself. <laughs> can you hear me? Hello? Okay, yeah, I'm back. I, I, uh, I hear you now. I was just telling her you you ate a whole quart of ice cream on your own. Just a few yes. a few issues back. Matt sends out a uh, monthly handwritten newsletter that we are both subscribed to. Yep. And I'm still uh, I've been dragging my feet on writing an article for it. I have to apologize. I've been sidetracked. Uh, my stupid managers want me to work on things that uh other stuff. But I should uh uh uh, I'll write a great article. I'll even draw some pictures in there too, if that's all right. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. That would be great. Yeah, but we were calling mainly because we had uh, some more ideas for songs. <laughs> oh, good. What are you yeah. working on right now? I'm doing um, a new a new band. It's like I don't know the name. It's going to be something like uh, the guy who apologizes and. Um, all each song is just an apology for a specific um, thing. Okay, so, so like I'm sorry from, that I farted or something like that. Yeah, so I have like 90 I'm ideas s- that I'm gonna. Oh, okay. So you don't need any there. new ideas for that. 
I mean, I'll take them because, I mean, it was just uh, some of them, are, I'm sure some of them are bad. Yeah, poop into. Uh oh. Are you there? I think we lost them. Matt's probably got one of those Casio cell phones from Radio Shack. That Shack's person too. wasn't real. <laughs> no, he's a real guy. Oh, he's still here. Oh, you there? Still here. Okay, you cut yeah, out. Thanks for the poop into the wormhole song idea. That was good. Oh yeah, well you're very welcome. I'm so <laughs> glad that that it happened. I was this isn't just true. <laughs> It is true. <laughs> no, We're, it's not. You know, hey Matt, you know how in our podcast every once in a while we'll just play a song that you have because it's about the situation and the person is confused because they don't think yeah. it's possible that someone could have as many songs <laughs> yeah, as you have. Yeah. That's what's happening right now. And yeah. When you did it with uh, Bert um, two episodes ago, yeah. yeah, there were a few. Like he asked for a Jeff Tweedy song, and I was listening. I was like, "There is a Jeff Tweedy song, but you guys couldn't find it." Oh, you were probably so mad. Him. Oh. So I just couldn't search it. Well, when enough. you say you guys, that's solely on Randy. Yeah, I apologize. So send all your hate mail to uh, Randy, P Care of the Bone Zone, P.O. Box 29044, Los Angeles, California. Yeah, P.O. Box 29044. 90029. So any complaints, threats, or hate mail, <laughs> send that to Randy. <laughs> At the Bone Zone, P.O. Box 29044, Los Angeles, California, P.O. Box, I already said it, zip code 90029. Anybody else listening out there can send us stuff too, but no poison, no dead animals, nothing gross. No farts in a, in a plastic bag. Don't fart into a pickle jar, seal it, and mail it to us. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like the... Uh, I maybe like... send a magnifying glass for Randy. <laughs> well, let's not get into that. Um, we already did. Uh, yeah, but we don't need to explain it to Matt. Randy had an accident. Um, yeah, Matt, you should write a song about how this one time I was trying to look at my tiny dick with a magnifying glass and I set my pubes on fire. Because it was in a sunbeam. I'll, I'll put that on the list. Is that too graphic for your work? Or? I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't usually go in that direction. Like penises uh, so and pubes. Thing. Yeah, because we had another one that was called Beard, Hair, Pubes, and Jizz. <laughs> oh, yeah. They wouldn't go. No, because yours are like puke. He's got a poop, code. Puke. Pee. That's fine. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like the wormhole. And what was the... Uh, you? What were you going to pee on in that song? I'm going to... Uh, what was I going to do? Um, I'm going to pee... It's something to... Wormhole. What it's was like it? Einstein's, Einstein's theories. Uh... Yeah. I'll just when play it. Yeah, I thought it was really clever. Oh, this is a poop into a wormhole. Matt, written by Matt and the toilet bowl cleaners. I, no, this is a website you just type in your no. words. Poop, poop, poop into a wormhole. Poop, poop, and, and this is inspired by Brendan's tweet. Wormhole, yeah, I gave him the. I, he asked for some ideas. Because yeah. he's got like probably close to a thousand poop songs. Wait, I want to hear the P thing. Einstein would be filled with pride. Oh, so over. I'm proving all of his theories right. Sending my poop to the other side. The aliens over there are in for a surprise. A stinky surprise. <laughs> Empty my bladder onto some dark matter. I was really impressed with that yeah. on the ride over. I did, yeah. I, I was searching Wikipedia and I noticed in the wormhole um, article it mentioned dark matter, so I figured I should do a little bit about that. 
Well, you've done it again, Matt. You've created another masterpiece and another piece of music that Randy and I are listening to nonstop, driving anybody near us crazy in yeah. a good way. There's a good, there's another song called "Poop from My Pee Hole and Pee from My Poop Hole." <laughs> <laughs> that one is a that was a gem. Did one of us insp- inspire? I don't that? know. I, it's uh, not, it sounds yeah, that like a guy, another fan from Florida. Um, you suggested that one. Oh, it's a good, good one. one. Yeah. Good, good so, on and, him. Uh, Bristol, Bristol Stool Chart was an idea that... That was Talia, yeah, my yeah. Australian uh, lady friend. And I inspired uh, Zero Gravity Poop, the astronaut poop yep, song. Yep. Let's listen to that. This is inspired by Randy and Melissa. I, I, well, Gotta talk so into the microphone. Do you have to leave? Astronaut. Is this really going for six hours of podcasts? <laughs> in your mind. Because we're already on almost Zero three, right? Well, we only started the podcast Zero an hour ago. Poop. Are you guys serious? You only started? We, you see, you didn't, that means you didn't record Send Me On My Way or anything? <laughs> we, didn't say, we, didn't, we only started recording. I don't know. Randy's the one in charge of the recording. I'll button. look at it. Why did you guys do this? We've been doing so, the podcast for 22 minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, Matt. No. Uh, have you seen a spike in sales or plays since, uh, since the bone zone has been, uh, promoting you so hardcore? Yeah. Yeah. I think you can so. be honest. Yeah. So. You can be completely honest. You haven't really noticed the difference. It, um, it's hard. It's very hard to say, um, cause you don't know what the sales would be otherwise, but, um, so I, I, I've definitely gotten a lot of, um, email from people and a lot more Twitter followers. So that's been good. Oh well, that's good. That's good. I tweeted about it today. I think people should uh, should totally buy your newest poop album. Yeah, I'll tweet about it when I go home. I was thinking that when I was driving around today, listening to it, I was like, I have to do a tweet about this and say to buy it. Um, so that'll be our goal. We'll see if we can get ten people to buy your album this week. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. I would love that. Um, how's your wife? Good. 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 She, she likes the new album, too. I was really pumped about this new album. Every day she'd come home, and I would force her to listen to the, the latest songs. Yeah. And she really gets into it, huh? Um, yeah, she, she agreed that... You guys that, are um, doing some prank here. A little bit harder. It's a prank. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa is it's in that... Joke. Is in that mode so much that she thinks this whole thing is a prank it on is. her. It's we're, a joke. We think pretty elaborate. <laughs> it is a pretty yeah. elaborate. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 we're calling uh, Matt from Massachusetts, who w- went on a twenty-five mile walk today, and uh, Melissa doesn't believe that this is really happening. She doesn't believe you're a real person. I think. Is <laughs> yeah. that what well, we want? Say, if she wants a subscription to the Long Walk newsletter, um, you know, tell her she can get one. Yeah, handwritten I'm, monthly I'm, newsletter. I. I didn't. I missed my nap time today, and I'm getting sleepy. Are you getting sleepy? Yeah, <laughs> I don't s- know if this is all real or if it's. I mean, the cupcake <laughs> and flowers. This is just weird. Oh yeah, we did a bunch of other stuff too, Matt. So it's not all you. Yeah, I'm trying. To, do you have any songs about <laughs> sleep, Matt? About what? Any songs about like sleeping, or being tired? I'm sure you do somewhere. I don't know. Nothing offhand is. Oh, maybe something about turkey and tryptophan? Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, Thanksgiving turkey farts. <laughs> oh, Thanksgiving turkey farts. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, I like the style. This is like. Well, turkey doesn't make people fart per se, so why is there so much gas on Thanksgiving Day? I'll tell you. Turkey has a way of making people sleeping, and when they're sleeping, that's when the gas starts creeping out of their behinds. You know how it is when you're napping and relaxed. You're unaware of the fact that gas is being passed right out of your behind.
should totally when you hit twenty thousand. I mean, that could take a while. Maybe fifteen thousand. Yeah, when you hit a big number of how many songs, you should totally throw a party. We should throw a party I'm for him here in Los Angeles. We'll book you a gig and have a big party. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually. Yeah, I'm gonna be coming in November. I'd love to uh, meet up with you guys. To Los Angeles. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. What, well, what's the, what's the plan? Um, the wife and I are just gonna come um, to LA for a week. Vacation. For, uh, correct. Awesome. Um. Well, you definitely have to come on the podcast live. Oh, ob- yeah. Unless I mean, we don't want to rain on your honeymoon. No way. That would be your fantastic. second honeymoon. And uh, we should. Um, we'll book a bunch of activities for your wife. And then you can come on our podcast. We'll keep her busy. We'll just send her off with uh, with Randy's girlfriend. They can go look at shoes or whatever. <laughs> and then us guys will go book some gigs. We have to. Would you do a live show? I know you, you don't uh, perform live hardly at all, but would you? Of course. I would do anything, yeah. That'd be great. Like a Bone Zone event. That's what we'll do. Yeah.